Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to Eagle Valley Basketball on a beautiful Thursday night. Alan Bailey alongside uh, high school principal and uh, girls head basketball coach Mark Lundin. Mark, how are you, how's it going tonight? Good evening, Alan. I'm excited. Nice to see the boys in the gym again and get the grid crowd out here and have a lot of fun tonight. Of course, it's uh, Verndale Pirates who are, uh, well, I have this information right in front of me. Verndale is 1-8 and eight overall, 0-4 in the Park Region Conference tonight. They Their only win came on um, December 8th when they played Parker Square and they won that game 48-43. They are coming to town tonight in the, the Clarissa Gym to play Eagle Valley. Eagle Valley is 7-3 overall, 1-2 and two in the Prairie Conference. Uh, their, uh, yes, uh, the win, uh, their most recent win was January 9th this past Saturday uh, against Ashby. And... Uh, Mark, what do you think uh, uh, keys to the game tonight for the Rebels? I know the Rebels played uh, Verndale in the Christmas tournament earlier, and I think they were about a 14 or 15 point winner in that game. Um, I expect the Rebels come out pretty fast and, and, and hopefully take control of this game early. I know Verndale is going to be without the services of one of their best players tonight, uh, who's out of the Verndale lineup. So that's that's going to cause some offensive problems for for the um, the Pirates. And uh, you know, I think the Rebels look to put a lot of pressure on them early and see if they can get get some turnovers and. Com- convert those into some early points all right now we're uh, halftime uh, coming up i know we're jumping the gun a little bit but we do have a special guest for our for our halftime we're going to have uh, uh mrs taylor coming in and she's going to be talking about the one act play that's going to be coming up on i believe the 24th it's going to be on a sunday if i'm not mistaken uh and that's going to be at the eagle valley high school auditorium sunday at tw- uh, two o'clock and we're going to have her as our guest uh, this evening at halftime during this game. Also, we've got a, we've got some uh, fun halftime entertainment uh, as you as uh, as it goes. We've got the elementary kids uh, basketball uh, going to be uh, doing some uh, uh, scrimmaging during halftime. You never know what other uh, guest we might find along the way to put up here. And oh. <laughs> anything can happen with Al and I on the air tonight, fans. And we're not going to we're not going to apologize for being homers, and, you know, or Eagle Valley to the heart. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good time tonight. We should probably go over the starting lineup for uh, tonight's game. Uh, let's uh, turn it over to Mark. You can talk about the. Let's uh, go over the Verndale Pirates uh, basketball team first off. Looks like Verndale is going to go with uh, junior guard five nine number three Isaac Schmidt. And at the other guard, they're going to go with uh, freshman, um, five foot eight, number five, Dallas Ermintrout. Um, one of the forwards will be Dustin Moschenbacher. He's number 13. He's a junior, about 5'10". Um, their other forward is number 25, junior, about 6'2", Kyle Booth. And they'll rely on uh, Caleb Bursick in the middle. He's a senior, and he's six foot two. The Rebels, I'm not sure exactly who they're going to count- counter with. Um, I'm sure you're going to see Josh Wagner at a guard. Um, looks like Blake Paloma is going to be at the other guard. Um, both seniors, Josh Nelson, uh, will play one of the forwards. He's also a senior. Zach Taylor is going to return to the lineup tonight. Zach's about a 6'4 senior. He's number 32. And uh, they'll start five seniors tonight with Dario Savantis in the other forward position. Dario's number 44, and he's a 6'1 senior. So look for the Rebels to try to get out to a fast, a fast start here and maybe uh, try to push the tempo of this game up and down. We're getting ready to get underway here. We've got the... Announcement <laughs> coming up shortly. <laughs> Al's, uh, Al's going to leave us for a minute here because he's going to serve double duty after the national anthem here and, and introduce the team. So we'll just let the, kind of the play roll on. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Good evening and welcome to Eagle Valley for our basketball game tonight between the Verndale Pirates and your Eagle Valley Rebels. Our game this evening is being played under the rules of the Minnesota State High School League who join with Eagle Valley in asking that all fans, players, and coaches remember the goals of fair play, respect, dignity, and sportsmanship during the game. At this time, would you all please rise, remove your hats, and face the south end of the gym as we honor our country with the national anthem.
Gotting and Ashley Parrish. Starting off in guard, number three of five nine junior Isaac Schmitz. Mr. Bailey going over the starting line. At guard, a five eight freshman, number five Dallas Ermentrout. Forward center Reed Luneman, who's out tonight. At guard, a five ten junior, number thirteen Dustin Machenbacher. At center, six foot two junior, number twenty five Kyle Booth. And at center, a six six two senior, number fifty one Caleb Bursick. The Pirates are coached by Greg Johnson, assisted by Jim Runyon and Jordan Hinkle. And now for your Eagle Valley Rebels. Starting off at guard, a 5'9 senior, number 10, Josh Wagner. At guard, a 5'11 senior, number 12, Blake Paloma. At forward, a 5'10 senior, number 20, Jason Nelson. At forward, a 6'4 senior, number 32, Zach Taylor. And at forward, 6'1 senior, number 44, Dario Cervantes. The Rebels are coached by Doug Wold, assisted by Jason Petershik and Pat Luneman. Nicely done there, nicely done, Al. I'm sure you're going to have uh, the extra check will be in the mail, I'm sure. Well, I need a drink after that one. <laughs> well, I've got one right you here. You got a little Thank agua you. por favor. I've got right. an aqua fina there. por favor, that's right. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're getting ready to get underway. And Zach Taylor and number 25, Kyle Booth at center. Rebels win the tip-off. Cervantes to Hess to Taylor in the middle. Cervantes in the paint, up and up for two, no good. good. Travel. travel call on Dario there. He got a little anxious trying to get to the hoop. Pirates ball. Ball carried down to my number five, Armin Trout, for the Pirates. Pass to number three and carrying, oh, over and back, called. Paloma inbounds it to Wagner, center court. Wagner at the top, passes to Taylor. Taylor bounce once, turns and jumps, and it's yeah. good for two. And the fans get to sit down after the first two points. <laughs> fans always appreciate a quick basket. They want to stand That's there all night exactly waiting to see that. Right. <laughs> it's like the Rebels are playing a little 1-3-1 one, one half-court defense here. Ferndale's playing man-to-man -man on the other end, and I think that's going to be a real problem for them trying to uh, contain Josh Wagner. Machenbacher inbounds, 25 to 5. Ermin Trout, number 13, up, no good. Number 3, now number 20. Taylor with the rebound now, number 32 for the Rebels, passes to Wagner. Wagner bringing it down court. Right side now to Paloma. Paloma bounce pass to Cervantes, to Jason Nelson. Nelson coming in. Wagner up for two, and no good. Taylor with the rebound, mm -hmm. up, no good. Rebound by number 51, Caleb Bursick for the Verndale Pirates. Now number 13, Moschenbacher with the ball. Left side up to number five, Ehrman Trout. Back to Moschenbacher, back to number 25, Kyle Booth. Back to Wagner now with the ball with the steal. Oh, Blake and, Paloma. Oh, look at that. Nice follow by Blake. Nice Blake, heads up play. Blake Paloma with a two-point layup on the rebound. Ooh, nice block by Blake Paloma. Oh. And just like that, it goes back to Verndale. Give me a little ragged here at the beginning, I think. See the Rebels trying to put some real half-court pressure on him. Rundell's knocking the ball over. That's a third uh, Pirate turnover already. Cervantes inbounding the ball. Passes to, uh, bounce pass to Wagner. 
Wagner bringing up court. Left side to Nelson. Nelson dribbles way over. The arc to Wagner from three. No good. Taylor tried to get the ball. Couldn't quite get it. Verndale ball. Booth inbounds it to number five. Herman Trout. Herman Trout dribbles. Good defense by the Rebels. Okay, they were looking at a little bit of two-two-one one half-court trap there, or more a three-quarter port. Give them a little different look to the Pirates here. Booth made the pass there. Didn't quite make it. Turns over to uh, the Rebels. We're now back in a 2-3 zone this time, Al. Let's see what the Rebels got for him this time. Coach Wold calling the play in. Over to the Cervantes. Cervantes way over to the arc. Jason Nelson for three and drills it. You're going to have trouble. They, you know, playing Nelson there. They're even wide open. Another another Regal, or Verndale turnover. Oh, turned right back, turn over, right back over to Verndale again. Herman Trout with the ball. Over to Machenbacher. Now to Booth. Paloma gets a tip on the ball. Number 51, Bursick with the score for Verndale. Palomo with the ball, bounce pass to Taylor, over to Cervantes. Cervantes right in the, oh, right in the paint, and he's fouled. Foul number 25, Kyle Booth. That's his first personal foul. First team foul, 14-24. Left in the first half, seven to two. Rebels leading, now eight to two. To Tyler Oftedal coming in for Zach Taylor. Second shot, no good. Over and back. Over and back. Plenty of turnovers so far on Verndale. Six turnovers on Verndale, three for the Rebels so far in the first five minutes. Jason Nelson inbounds the ball. Wagner brings it up, passes to Nelson. Nelson back to Wagner, over to Paloma. Paloma up for three. No good. Ermintraut with the ball now after the rebound. Ermintraut over to Machenbacher. Machenbacher. A lot of defense on him. Over to 32. That is Jason Pirius in for Verndale. 51, Kyle Booth. Bounce once and fouled. He'll be going up for two. Foul on Cervantes for Eagle Valley. That's his first and first team foul. I think with Herman Trout being a ninth grader, I think the Rebels are really looking to try to put some pressure on him. Boy, that's a that's a tough task playing against senior guards right Absolutely away. Absolutely right. The pressure. You bet. And his second shot is no good. Rebound by Paloma. Paloma over to Wagner. Right side. Over to T.O. T.O. looking for a pass. Over to Nelson. Nelson to the center with Cervantes. Cervantes goes up. No good. Fouled. And I believe that was number 51, uh, Bursick. No shot on that one, Al. I thought he was in the middle. That's what I thought there. so, too. I was wrong. That was 33, Jordan Steiner with the foul on Verndale. Back to action. We've got T.O. with the ball. Over to Paloma. Paloma goes up for two in the paint. 10 to 2 Rebels with 10 or 13 minutes left to go in the first half. Machenbacher looking for a pass. Gets it. It's over to number 5, Ermin Trout. Ermin Trout to Booth. Booth up and in. Or Bursick, I'm sorry. In for 2. Blake Paul on the whistle for that foul, Al. Basket is good. Foul on number 12, Blake Paloma. And uh, James Olson comes in for Dario Cervantes for the Rebels. And the free throw attempt, no good. 
Wagner with the ball, bringing it down right side. Passing it off to Dahl, off to Dahl, into the middle. James Olsen bounces off. Verndale player goes out of bounds. Rebel ball. Jason Nelson. Okay. Invert and whistle. Hate those Verdon whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Nelson up and no good. James Olson got the ball. It looks like he's going to get the foul. Out. I think he is. No, oh, one, two. Blake Palama got the foul on that one. Two fouls on Blake. That is, yes. And that's a third team foul for the Rebels. Good man-to-man defense down at this end. Number 13, Dustin Machenbacher with two for Verndale. Wagner with the ball now, bringing it up. Jason Nelson with the ball, dribbling, passing to Wagner. Wagner, little toss over to Paloma. Paloma bounce pass to T.O. T.O. goes up, and off it all gets two. I think the Rebels show a little more patience against his own defense. Oh, there's another turn. Oh. Go right back. Man, you can't even <laughs> say the turnover happened. It happened that quick, and it goes right back to Verndale. Turnovers and steals are happening fast. There's Persick with the ball, number 51 for Verndale. Goes up mm-hmm. and in for Very two. Nice That's six for uh, Caleb Persick. 12-8. Rebels with 11, just over, or just under 12 minutes left to play in the first half. Toyota Wagner for three. No good. Doss looks a little out of sync here. He's rushing his shot a little bit. Bernie went back to a man-to-man that time. Herman Trout to Machenbacher. Machenbacher missed the uh, missed the pass. <laughs> Wagner got it, brought it down, and it went out of bounds. Rebel ball. And Zach Taylor back in for the Rebels. Kyle Booth and also Isaac Schmidt back in for the Pirates. Where Booth is trying to get into the game. Stand at the table, see if they buzz him in or not. There, they got him in. And he's going in for Jordan Steiner. Wagner with the ball now. Back over to Nelson. Right side, Nelson dribbling up and no good. Wagner now with the ball from O. <laughs> he wanted the three out there. Wanted the three. Is. Got the three. Josh Wagner for the Rebels. From James Olsen. Good assist there by Olsen. Good defense, by the way, on the same guy here. And Olsen, Jason with the steal and up in the layup for two. 17-8 with just under 11 minutes left to play in the first half. Eagle Valley and Verndale. Oh, and I bailed him out there. I think he's in a bad position, but they're able to foul him on the shot. He'll go back to the line for two more. And that's a three on uh, Blake Paloma. Blake Paloma. And I believe uh, Dario will be going in here after the first attempt. Caleb Bursick at the line. And no good. And Dario Cervantes goes in for Blake Paloma. And that shot is good. Wagner with the ball now. Pass over to Cervantes. Cervantes' right side goes up. No good. And rebounded by number 13, Machenbacher. Herman Trout with the ball now. Center court. Pass to Machenbacher. Oh, stolen away from Kyle Booth. Jason Nelson with the ball dribbling. No. Another turnover. Number 13, Machenbacher goes up for the layup. No good. Rebounded by Zach Taylor. Over to Wagner. And that is Jason Jason Nelson Nelson for three. And that's not from downtown. That's from the suburbs. (laughs) 
I had a feeling, Al, if that one didn't go in. Oh, there's another steal by Wagner. He's going to put it into two more. Oh, oh, that might be an intentional foul. No, looked like he put a forearm right in his back. Right now, go to the line for two. I was just going to say, I said, if that three pointer from Nelson didn't go in, I think Coach Wold would have been calling a timeout. I think that kind of not the way he wants to play against that zone is bombing away. I know he likes to try to get the ball inside and show a little more patience. Foul on number 25, Kyle Booth, his second personal. Wagner to the line, 4 2. And the first one's good. Bring Steiner back in for the... And Adam Hess in for the Rebels. And Wagner makes the second one. 22 to 9. Rebels with 9.50 left to play in the first half. Hermitrell with the ball passes to... Number three, Isaac Schmitz goes in for the layup for two for Verndale. Wagner brings the ball down. Center court. Thumbs down. This is isolation for Josh to see if he can just beat his guy. There he goes. Pass to Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor goes up. No good. Ball bouncing up in the air a few times. Verndale ball, number five. Ermin Trout with the ball. Over to Schmitz. Back to Ermin Trout. Machenbacher now with the ball center court. Back to Schmitz. Now Bursick with the ball. Dribbling into the lane and up and in with the layup. Timeout Eagle like, Valley. Yeah. Coach Wold not very happy with that play. A guy went past two guys on the baseline and got a reverse Bursick, layup. that looked like a cakewalk. Coming right into the lane like that and coming up and over. Just read Coach Wold's lips. He said, that's terrible. <laughs> I've never said that with a coach. Now. I've never said that. <laughs> 8.55 left in the first half. The score 22-13. Rebels with the lead. Once again, coming up at uh, halftime, we've got a special guest, Mrs. Cheryl Taylor, coming over to talk a little bit about the uh, one-act play that's going to be uh, coming up on Sunday, the 24th, at Eagle Valley Auditorium. So uh, stay tuned for that. Welcome, everybody, all around wherever you are listening to our webcast tonight. Alan Bailey along with Mark Lundin with the play-by-play. And we're back to action. Josh Wagner with the ball, passing it over to Dario Cervantes. Cervantes goes up. No good. Taylor with the rebound and in for two. Four points for Zach so far. Hermitrout with the ball, trying to dribble around. A lot of good defensive coverage over there by Cervantes over on that right side. And that is uh, Dario's second personal foul. And we've got substitutions coming in. We've got uh, Nelson and Offadal coming in for Taylor and Olsen for the Rebels. 15 turnovers, Al, in the first uh, 10 minutes of play. 10 on the Pirates and 5 on the Rebels. Hermitra with the ball to Schmitz, to Steiner. That looked like a travel to me, too. But we're not the officials. Ball stolen away now from for Wagner. Wagner over to T.O. T.O. to Nelson. Nelson. Nice pass to Cervantes. Very nice. Beautiful pass to Cervantes. Dario goes up for two. Give the assist to Jason Nelson. 26-13 Rebels with just under eight minutes to go in the first half. Steiner with the ball. Back to Pirius. Yeah. Goes up. No good. Adam Hess. Picks up the foul on that one. Sixteen foul on the Rebels. On the Rebels. Number thirty-two, Jason Pirius at the line for two, and the first shot is no good.
No good on the second shot. Cervantes with the rebound. Wagner with the ball. Pass to T.O. T.O. across court to Cervantes to Nelson. Now to T.O. again. Missed the ball. And it's another turnover. Number three, Schmitz trying for three. No good. Adam Hess with the rebound. Wagner now. Cross court pass to Nelson to Oftedal. Cervantes right in the paint to Hess, and he goes up for two. Good ball movement there by the Rebels. 28 13 with just over seven minutes left in the first half. Substitutions coming in. Bursick and Moschenbacher. That's correct. Well, I was just looking at the score chart here. Verndale's one for seven from the free throw line. Well, that may, won't make uh, Coach uh, Greg Johnson very happy. Another turnover knocked away by Wagner. Wagner up and no good. Rebound by Oftedal. Oftedal brings it up. No good. Rebound by number 33, Jordan Steiner for Verndale. Bursick with the ball now. Loses the ball. Nelson with the ball. Dribbles down court. And goes up for two. Nice nice keep there by Jason. Isaac Schmitz goes up for three. No good. And it'll be Rebel Ball. And Ryan Killo coming in for Josh Wagner, who has had a, just a heck of a first half of play. A lot of steals and turnover, you know, steals for Josh here, but I'm sure he's not happy with his shooting from the field. He's had a couple of opportunities, haven't been able to get the ball to drop. Can't question his work ethic, I'll tell you that. No, you Ooh. sure can't. We came to a basketball game and a hockey fight popped out here. They're so going to give that one to Verndale after they gave it to the Rebels. Okay. We always think it's blue ball when it goes I always balls. think it is, too. <laughs> Schmitz with the ball over to number 33, Steiner. Steiner to Machenbacher in the corner. Bursick with the ball now dribbling, trying to go up. I think that's going to be a traveling. Yep, that is. On Verndale. I tell you that one three one is really difficult to to break. If you don't can't make good sharp diagonal passes, you're gonna have all kinds of trouble. Everything gets trapped. Killer with the ball right now. Over to Nelson to TO. Adam Hess with the ball. Dario now has it. Nelson from three and drills it. Jason Nelson. That has got to be 11 right now. 11 points for Nelson. Three threes and two points from the field. And timeout is called for Verndale. Let's see if he still wants it. I may back off it now. Hell, that's the 15th Pirate turnover in the first half. Unbelievable. Hey, I want to mention uh, junior high girls basketball was going on today in Swanville. A couple games uh, coming up. Well, not games, but uh, one game coming up. Uh, that, uh, of course, uh, Mark Lundeen here will be at tomorrow. Uh, Swanville, the Bulldogs will be here uh, taking on uh, uh, the Rebel Girls, and uh, that gets underway about 6.15. And then wrestling, Osakis, a dual tourney tomorrow. The Broncos at Osakis. Quick note on that J junior high game today. Give the girls a little props. They actually came up one point short today in overtime against Swanville in their first game of the year. So... When we're away, number 13, I believe, put that That's, one in. Uh, Machenbacher with the uh, two. Jason Nelson out with the ball. Top of the key, passes to Zach Taylor. Taylor now, muscling in. Another nice Passes pass. it to Dario Cervantes in for two. 35-15 with four and a half left in the first half. Very unselfish play there by the Rebels looking for their open man. Schmitz with the ball. Cervantes is going to pick up another one. Herman Trout had the ball. Fallen uh, Dario. Three, ball, uh, three balls. Three <laughs> fouls. Sorry. Yeah, that's one for me tonight. That's okay. So far. 
And a substitution in for number 34, James Olsen, in for Dario Cervantes. That puts Verndale in the bonus. And free throw no good. Zach Taylor with the rebound over to Killo, now over to Blake Paloma. Paloma bounce pass to Killo. Killo over to James Olsen, no good. Rebound by Taylor. Taylor now with the ball. Hooks it up, doesn't uh, doesn't go in, hits the uh, top of the rim. Kyle Booth with the ball for Verndale now. Goes up and lays her in for two. Paloma with the ball uh, left side, coming towards center now. Pass to Killo. Pass to Nelson. Nelson dribbles. Right side. Over to Zach Taylor at the free throw line. Pass to Olsen and back to Paloma. Paloma looking for a good pass. Got it with uh, with uh, Ryan Killo. Killo at near the top of the key. Over to Olsen. Now Nelson with the ball. Good passing by the Rebels. Bounce pass to Olsen. Olsen Very brings nice. it in for two. Very nice. Got to be happy with that offensive possession. Very nicely done. Herman Trout over to. Well, it was supposed to be to Booth, but Zach, Zach Taylor. Taylor got it. Taylor brings it up, lays it up for two. Nice open court play by the big man there. I think you're going to see Coach Wold use Whoa. the whole bench here tonight. Get a bunch of guys some playing time. Absolutely. Ball goes out of bounds. Bad pass from Verndale. We got Wagner back in. As Josh brings it up court, center court now. Number 20. Over to Killo. Killo right side looking. Over to T.O. Then to James Olsen. James Olsen off the backboard and in for two. 41-17 Rebels with 2.25 left in the first half. Booth sails it right over to number 13, Machenbacher. Ball turnover again. Ryan Killo goes up. No good. Josh Wagner with the rebound and puts it in for two. Two minutes left in the first half. Verndale ball. He's Booth at center. Passes it over to Herman Trout. Bursick shoots. No good. Killo with the rebound. Passes it over to Josh Wagner. Down to T.O. Cross-court pass to Palma. Palma looking for three and gets it. Rebels got her going offensively tonight. Machenbacher pass to Booth. Booth at center. Now over to Herman Trout. Herman Trout to Bursick. Bursick goes up with a hook shot. No good. Rebounded by, well, half for T.O. and half for James Olsen, I guess we'll, we'll give it that. I don't know if you split can, rebounds out? I don't think you can do that, but uh, it's all right. Turnover now over to Verndale. Verndale goes up. Number three, Isaac Schmitz with the two points. 46-19, just under a minute to play in the first half. Wagner with the ball now, top of the key. Dribbling, pass to Killo. Killo goes up for... Two, two and, and a half. Is, uh, two and a half and no good. <laughs> rebound by Booth for Verndale. If we can get a rebound and a half, Al, we can I get a two so. and a half. I think so. I think you're right. Killo now with the ball from the rebound by Oftedal. The Rebels will play for one shot here. Wagner now or for not. three. <laughs> no good. Killo now with the ball to Paloma for three. No good. Rebound by number 13, Maschenbacher. Herman Trout, not a Maschenbacher. Maschenbacher to Booth. Couldn't quite hang on to it. Off the doll with the ball now going in and lays it up for two. Herman Trout with the ball, brings it down, goes up, and no good. At the half, it's 48-19. Can we go for some of these... Uh, 
I got to go scores, through. Quick. Scores for the Rebels. Quick for the wa- for uh, Eagle Valley. Got Josh Wagner has uh, seven points at the half. Blake Palma has seven points and a half at the half. Jason Nelson is with 11. Adam Hess two. Zach Taylor six. James Olson, James Olson four. Dario Cervantes four. And Tyler Oftedal has four. The Rebels were um, three of six from the free throw line in the half. For uh, Verndale, Isaac Schmidt has four. Dustin Moschenbacher has four. Kyle Booth with two. And Caleb Bursick has nine points. One of the downside for the Pirates here. Trying to count them up. They are one for eight from the free throw line, and they committed 19 first half turnovers. Ooh. Of I, th- I think the Rebels turned most of those into points. So uh, it's kind of what we thought would start from the beginning. The Rebels put a lot of pressure on them. You know, Fernando playing some younger players. You can tell the Pirates are really struggling without uh, you know one of their top scorers in in Meyer Ding. So. Uh, We'll see how the second half goes. All right. I'm going to take my headset off and turn it over to a much better looking young lady here in Cheryl Taylor and let her uh, speak with you a second. Hold on. While we're watching the the uh, elementary boys basketball doing a little scrimmage uh, this evening during the uh, halftime portion of our game tonight, once again the score, Eagle Valley 48 and the uh, Verndale Pirates 19, and we welcome Mrs. Taylor to the uh, – Thank you. To the broadcast facility. Yes. How you doing, Cheryl? Good. I'm good. doing very good. Let's yeah. talk a little bit real quick about your uh, the uh, the performance coming up, One Act Play. Yeah, we're doing a One Act Play on, um, it'll be January 24th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it is called The Bells of Charlemont, and okay. it takes place um, during World War II in a war-torn, <laughs> occupied uh, town in France. Okay. And uh, these... Uh, American soldiers have been asked to guard this uh, town after they have uh, after the Nazis have left, and so they're sent there. And there's been a tradition in this town to, for Chris, uh, a Christmas tradition that their children have never seen because they've been occupied for so long. Okay. So they've asked the soldiers then if they would um, do that for them. But before they can get there, the soldiers have to bug out, um, and and therein, you know, lies the problem. Um, it's a really touching play. Uh, it's um, uh, it's not necessarily about war so much as it is about the human spirit. Okay. And um, I think our guys do a really really nice job of um, of performing it. So speaking speaking of uh, the cast and crew, why don't you go ahead and uh, mention everybody that's uh, that's uh, going to be in the uh, that that are in the cast and crew of the uh, one act play. Sure. Um, the cast and crew involves Zach Taylor. Ashley Parrish, Tyson Eckel, Tyler Ruder, Laramie Jackson, Sam Cook, Tisha Lopez, Jacqueline Parrish, Mariah Malwitz, Jamie Schultze, Megan Rydell, Maggie Pavick, Thomas Heron, David Oliver, Ryan Killo, uh, Kelsey Benson, and uh, my assistant director is Cindy Eaton. Um, and we would, uh, we're extending a special invitation to all of the veterans in our communities to come out for this performance, um, to wear uh, whatever uh, insignias and, um, you know, war memorabilia or their outfits, whatever, um, so that we could honor them with this play. It's a, um, uh, it, it really honors our, uh, the service that um, our, our guys have made to our country. All right. Okay, yeah. once again, give us the date and the time that, uh, that it's going to be. Sunday, January 24th at 2 o'clock p.m. All right, Eagle Valley High School Auditorium. Yes. All right. Thank Mrs. you Mrs. Taylor, much. thank you for stopping by and talking with us today. Thank you very much. All right, much. thank you very much. All right, we'll be back with the second half in just a little bit.
back in again at halftime here at the Eagle Valley Verndale Pirates game. Talking real quick with Taylor Agnes, a member of the Eagle Valley girls basketball team, had a great game uh, the other night with the Osakas. Taylor? Yeah. Talk a little bit about that game. What an exciting, uh, uh, especially the last four minutes of that game. Well, it was a big game for us because we've n- we haven't beat them in so long. And it was really good for us to step up in the end and prove that we can win some games. You had a great time, though, play, playing that game. It was, it was exciting all the way to the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Talk about, talk about that last play, Kristen Long, uh, with that layup that brought it in. Yeah, we had a play designed up, and there was no holes open, so she just got it and did exactly what we needed her to do, and she just took it in, and she, that really came, she really came through for us there. All right. Well, thanks for taking time to talk with us today there, Taylor. Yeah. And good luck. What's, who, who are you playing next? Uh, we play Swanville tomorrow night. Tomorrow yeah. night? Here, yeah. Here, right? Yep. Okay. Well, good luck to you, and good luck to all the girls tomorrow night. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Hey, we're getting ready to get underway now with the, uh, with the second half here. Eagle Valley leading Verndale 48-19. We were talking a little bit about the speaking of uh, the, the game tomorrow night. We've got the head coach of the girls game tomorrow night. What are you looking for tomorrow night with uh, Swanville? Well, you know, Swanville has a bunch of young players, too. It could be a lot like this game for us. I think we want to get out, get off to a good start early and uh, see if we can cause some turnovers and a little chaos. And uh, our girls play better when they get out and get going. So we're looking for another exciting night here. You know, it was a big win the other night. You always got to be careful. You don't look into a letdown after a game like that. So I think the girls are excited. We had a really good night of practice tonight. So I think the girls will come out and be ready to play. I'd like to invite everybody to come on out and see us tomorrow night if you're locally here. All right. Absolutely right. First game, uh, B game is at 6.15, correct? 6.15, correct. Okay, we're underway with the uh, second half. Booth with the ball now over to Herman Trout. Herman Trout at half court with the ball. You got to wonder what was talked about in the locker room. Ball goes out of bounds. Coach Johnson for the Pirates has got to figure out a way to try to break that 1-3-1 half court because the Rebels are coming out with it again. They're not doing a good job of it, that's for sure. Cross court pass to Ehrman Trout over on the left side. A lot of defense coverage on him. Burst that goes up for two. A lot of, I was going to say a lot of good defense on Ehrman Trout with Wagner and Paloma double teaming. Wagner now with the ball at half court. Dribbling, spin, jump, and no good. Cervantes with the rebound and in for two. 50-21, 17 minutes left in the game. Eagle Valley leading the Pirates. Nelson trying again to get up for a steal against number five, Ehrmantraut. Ball goes out of bounds off of Nelson. Verndale ball. Over to Booth. Back to Ehrman Trout. Booth goes up and no good. Zach Taylor with a fingertip rebound over to Wagner. Passing it about halfway over to Nelson. Gonna get Jason for a charge in there. That'd be a pretty good call that time. Not that officials ever make bad calls, Al. I'm but not I even thought that any, was actually I'm not even going to say anything. A fairly good one, I guess. <laughs> Balls are up 50 to 21. One foul here, there, going to hurt. <laughs> Ermitra with the ball now over to number three, Perius. Perius up for three, no good. Rebound by Paloma over to Wagner on the right side. Back to center. Nelson now with the ball over to Wagner. Wagner to Paloma. Deep right side. Zach Taylor grabs it. Nelson trying for three, and no good. Rebound by number three, Isaac Schmitz. Over to Ehrmantraut now for Verndale. Back to Schmitz. Now Bursick with the ball, and... He's going to call it out of bounds. I thought for sure he was going to be a foul, too. And then if it wasn't tipped, then it would be blue ball, right? Without the foul? I'll give her back to Verndale. Must have been tipped out of bounds. Hmm. Okay. 33, that is Steiner with the ball now. 
Over to Machenbacher. Machenbacher dribbles. Bad pass intended for number three, Isaac Schmitz. Around the free throw line goes out of bounds. Cervantes now inbounds the ball to Wagner. Wagner bringing it up court over to Nelson, to Taylor. Nelson fakes, dribbles over to Paloma. Paloma fakes back to Wagner. Paloma with the ball again. Cross court to Taylor. Taylor going up for no good. It looked like it was going to go right in. Rolled right off the back of the rim. 50-21. Eagle Valley with 15 minutes left in the game. Now Nelson with the ball. Nelson trying to go up. And that's going to be a jump ball. Out of bounds to the Rebels this time. Jason Nelson taking it out for the Rebels. Stacked up. Taylor with the ball. Gets the thing. Gets the ball. Goes up. No good. Dario with the ball and foul. Foul is called. Jordan Steiner for Verndale. That's his second personal foul. Nelson inbounding the ball for the Rebels to Taylor. Taylor over to Nelson. Nelson shoots. No good. Rebound. Taylor goes up for two. 52-21. Schmitz with the ball now. Can't get through. That's going to be a foul. What would they get for that one, Al? That's a foul on Josh Wagner. Josh's first foul. Machenbach with the ball, taking it out for Verndale. Over to Ermentrout. Ermentrout back to Machenbacher, 33. That is Steiner with the ball, goes up for it, no good. Rebounded by Cervantes. Over to Paloma. Paloma passing it to Wagner. Wagner to Nelson. T.O. with the ball, goes up. Right in the paint, and it's good for two. 54-21. Verndale with the ball now. That's Ermentrout over to Machenbacher. Machenbacher to Bursick. Bursick with the ball. Dribbles. Looking for a good pass. Can't find it yet. Over to Machenbacher. Back to Bursick. Bursick. Bounce pass. Goes up for two and doesn't make it. Blake Paloma, number 12, with the ball for Eagle Valley, passing it to Nelson. Back to Paloma, bounce pass to T.O., over to Nelson. Nelson pumps, and no good. Rebound him at number 33, Jordan Steiner for Verndale. I think, Al, I think Coach Wold has put a gag order on the three-point baskets in the second half. The boys are passing up a lot of good looks, and I think he wants the ball inside and slow the pace down a little bit. Time out for the Pirates. Coming here, Coach Olsen, a chance to talk to the kids here? I think uh, I think that's a good assessment there, Mark. <laughs> I think it's a really good assessment. I spent too many years with Coach Wold. I know how he thinks. <laughs> Is this one of those I'm going to get back at you, digs, or, or what's the deal? I just told him. I said, you know, he, he webcast our game the other night, and I told him, I said, you know, you got to be careful what you say. I said, because I'm going to grab that's the microphone right. again. So That's exactly right. Both of us are kind of biting our tongue, knowing the next guy is going to get the best shot. So Hey, I want to mention uh, uh, Verndale. The next uh, game is coming up tomorrow night. They play at Verndale against Pillager. And uh, the Eagle Valley Rebels boys next play tomorrow night at Parker's. What do you think that game's going to be like? Well, you know, for the Eagle Valley boys, you know, the only win that Verndale has this year is over Parker's. So, um, should be I interesting. I don't think we got it. We didn't get a chance to play Parker's in the, the holiday tournament, but, you know, Parker's is a team that likes to get up and down the floor. They really like to shoot the three. They're not, they're not bashful. They'll shoot 30 to 40 three pointers a game. So, if they're hot, they can cause a lot of troubles for people. So, we'll see. The Rebels have been on a pretty good roll here, so they're starting to kind of hit their midseason stride, which is, uh, you know, trying to build momentum for playoff time. So, Machenbacher inbounds for Verndale. Steiner with the ball now. Loses it. Bursick gets it back. Goes up for two. No good. Rebound by number 50, Tyler Offedal, passing to Wagner. 
over to Blake Paloma. Paloma at the top of the key. Bounce pass to Wagner. Wagner back over to Paloma again. To Nelson, left side, over to T.O. Off it all. Cross court pass over to Wagner, back to center to Paloma. Paloma looking, seeing what's going on. What are we going to do next, boys? Wagner with the ball now. Dribbling. Goes up for two and no good. Rebound by Jordan Steiner, number 33. Only one two-point field goal for Wagner tonight. Now he's on a wide-open layup. I think he's, you know, he's had a lot of chances from the field, but hasn't been able to convert. There's Bursick with a two, another two points. 54-23, 12 and a half left in the game. Wagner with the ball, dribbling at half court. Over to Olson, then to Paloma. Paloma spins up, no good. Looking for the rebound, no one can get it. Number 32, Jason Pirius with the ball. Stolen away by Wagner. That is another turnover. Probably a costly turnover on Verndale. Verndale's taking care of the ball a little better in the second half. They only have three turnovers here in the first half. They only had 19 and a half. So. And that is a foul on number 32. Jason Pirius. Jason Pirius. And we have subs in. We've got Adam Hess in and James Olson in. Blake Palma with the ball now, dribbles. Right side for three and drilled it right down the middle. It's 10 for Blake Palma tonight. Bursick with the ball, bouncing. That's going to be a foul, I believe, on Zach Taylor. Caleb Bursick's having a real nice night, and he's got 13 points already. He'll go to the line here and try to make it 15. He's been kind of a one of their shining spots on offense tonight. And real hard is, worker inside. That is a foul on 32, Zach Taylor. First shot, no good. But Caleb's struggling from the line. He's one for six from the line now tonight. Let's see if he can find a way to get this one in. There, he's and there it goes. One point for Bursick. 14 for Bursick now. 57 24, the score with 11 and a half left in the first half. Wagner with the ball at center court, passing over to James Olson. Olson to Taylor. Taylor goes up for two, no good. And that is rebounded by Jordan Steiner, number 33. Ermintraut with the ball now, passing over to Bursick. Bursick goes up, lays it up on the left side, 4 2 for Verndale. Wagner bringing it down court over to Paloma. Paloma calling the play. Bounce pass to Olsen. Olsen to Taylor. Taylor dribbles once, turns around. No good. Loses the ball. And number 32, Jason Pirius with the ball. Knocked away by Taylor just for a moment. Ooh, that's going to be a charge. That is going to be a charge, and you're absolutely right, Mark. Bursick going in there. A lot of courage for James Olsen to stand in there on that one. Keeping the feet planted, and, and Olsen says, nope, you're not going through me. Caleb looks to be, you know, he's 6'2", he's probably close to 200 pounds. I mean, he gave a good run. He's a big boy. Paloma bringing the ball up center court. Goes right. Loses the ball for a second. Over to Cervantes. Cervantes with the ball dribbles. Gets away from Killo. Hess with the ball and back over to Killo. Palma now. Taylor with the ball. Passes inside to Cervantes. Back over to Hess. Cervantes goes up with it. No good. Herman Trout now with the ball. Over to Pirius. And that is going to go out. And it's going to be Rebel ball. I think that was... Uh Part of uh, Coach Wolves' halftime speech is work the ball around, get a good look, take some time off the clock, and don't be in too much of a hurry. I think that's what we're seeing here in the second half. Don't rush. Don't, don't rush. rush. Cervantes now with the ball. Nice backdoor oh, cut. Beautiful. Nice backdoor cut. Paloma with the pass from Dario. Puts it in for two. 59-26, 9 left in the game this evening. Eagle Valley over Verndale Farm. Ryan Killo pass over to Adam Hess and 
I think that was supposed to go to Dario and it went out of bounds. If I remember my, from my days of Coach Will, this is a gold inbounds play. It should be a reverse play coming to Josh or Blake Paul back in this corner. Let's see if I remember how the play okay. goes or not. I made a call, Al. We'll make a call. Here comes the reverse. Here comes the skip over the top. How about that, Al? That is a beautiful How about play. that? Oh, drawn Palma up went beautifully. up for three and no good. <laughs> you called it right on the money. That's you hit goodness. the button, Mark. I'll have Blake do his finish that. That would really look good. Booth with the ball at center at the top of the key over to Herman Trout. Over to Pirius. Back to Booth. Booth, or rather Bursic, I should say. Bursic goes up for two. Bursic for Ferndale has been better this half. Yeah, he's got nine already this half. He had nine in the first half. He's got 18 points, or he's leading all scores. Oh, that's well, that would be a foul right there, I would think. I think Dari's going to the line. Dario was line to the line two times in the first half. He was one for two. Let's see if he can convert both of these. That's a foul by Maschenbacher for the Pirates. Dario at the line. And good for one. This is how it's supposed to be done. Tyler Oftedal in now for Zach Taylor. He's suffered by Zach. Though. He's had a lot of ups and downs. He had some knee issues. He had some stomach issues. But he's starting to get back into the swing again. Booth with a rebound for Verndale. Now Machenbacher passing over to Ermintraut. Ermintraut bringing the ball center court for Verndale. Over to Machenbacher. Back to Ermintraut. And back and forth once again. Up to Booth. Booth trying at the free throw line. It's going to be a foul. Either... That is on Ryan Killo. I believe. 24. Oh, did they say 14? Let's see what he gets here for. 14. Yep, you're right. Good spot there, Al. And Booth hits the front of the rim. No good on the first try. In for the Rebels, number 30, David Oliver. And the second shot is no good. Rebound by Cervantes over to Killo. Killo down the right side to Adam Hess. Hess back up to Killo. To Oliver. Oliver tries. No good. Rebound by Killo. Now to Cervantes. Cervantes over to Killo. Back to Dario. Cross court to Oliver. Oliver looking. Back up to Dario. Dario muscling in. Couldn't quite get it in there. And it is rebounded by number two, Jacob Perius. Herman Trout over to Machenbacher. Now to Bursick. Bursick goes up. No good. And that, whoa. All on Tyler off at all. Okay. Looked either like a, tra a travel or, uh, I won't even say. Let's say he got pushed out. Okay. We'll call, he got a, pushed. we'll call a foul on the push. He that? got pushed. Herman Trout with the ball over to Booth. Bringing the ball in to the top of the key to Machenbacher. Machenbacher looking for a pass. Got it with Herman Trout. Back to Machenbacher over to Booth. Booth dribbles once. Jumps and in for two. 60 to 30, Eagle Valley over Verndale with seven and a half left in the game. You know, with David Oliver en entering the game, Al, that's the ninth senior that Coach Wool's been able to put on the floor tonight. And with the services of Reed Luneman, you know, they have 10 seniors on this team. It's it's really uh, the reverse of what the what the Pirates are dealing with, with not much uh, senior leadership on their team. Dario Cervantes gets the pass from Oliver and goes up for two. Good coverage by Oftedal trying to get, play good defense on that number 33, Jordan Steiner. Oftedal brings it in. Passes to Ryan Killo. Killo bringing up the ball, center court. Over to David Oliver. Oliver bounce pass to Cervantes. Cervantes looking for a pass there. Back to Adam Hess. Nice Cervantes move, fakes Dario. and brings Very it up nice. for two. 
for Dario Cervantes. Cervantes has got uh, 12 points tonight. Five in the first half and seven in the second. Booth with the ball at the top of the key. Looking for one of his teammates, but picked off by Tyler Oftedal. T.O. goes up for the layup for two, and timeout called by the Rebels. 6.22, and we have uh, a score of 66-32 with, uh, once again, 6.22 left in the game this evening. Exciting game nonetheless. It's nice to see, you know, you get a young kid like Tyler off. That was sophomore, you know, grab the rebound on one end and take her the length of the court. You know, it's very athletic. It would be a lot of good things coming from Tyler in the next couple of years here. Some big, strong post player for Coach Wold to, uh, you know, build off next year. I tell you, it's going to be a big hit. You have 10 seniors leave your squad. Right. It's going to be, a, a you know, a, a very challenging year. He's got year a lot of shoes to fill year. coming up. So yes, he does. He's got some good players coming, you know, the uh, JV teams have been very successful. Their C squad, I don't know if either one of them has been beat. I think they're the JV's win tonight. I think that made them 9-0. and So they got some good young kids coming too. Ermitra with the ball. Passes over to Machenbacher. Now over to Steiner. Steiner to Pirius. Pirius over to Ermitra. Tries for three. No good. Rebound by Offedal. Offedal passing it over to Ryan Killo. Brings it up center court. David Oliver with the ball. Got a tip by Verndale. Back over to David. Bounce pass to James Olsen. Bounce pass. Tried to bounce pass it to uh, Tyler Off at all. Couldn't quite get it. Urban Trout with the ball now for Verndale. Over to Perius. Perius looking. Steiner now with the ball. Midcourt. Urban Trout passing back over to Machenbacher. Machenbacher over to Perius. They just cannot get into that 3 2 defense by Eagle Valley. Try to bounce pass to Bursick. Caleb's been their real only answer inside today. You know, they've, they're they trying to get it to him, but, you know, the Rebels obviously know what they need to stop, so. And that was a foul on Ryan Killo, his second. Machenbacher for three, and no good. Rebound by Bursick, no good. And it's going to be out on Eagle Valley. Tyler Offit all tried good effort to try to get the ball and bring it back in, but couldn't quite do it. Machenbacher now inbounding for Verndale to Steiner. Killo tips on it, grabs it. That's going to be a foul, maybe. Yep. And that's going to be on number 33, Jordan Steiner. Yep. His third personal. Going to call that on the floor before he got to the basket, so he won't be going to the free throw line. We'll spread inbounds play here by the Rebels. <laughs> James Olson bringing it in. Adam Hess now with the ball. Dribbles to Olson. Olson trying for two, no good. Tyler off it all now. Brings it up for two. Now, after it all hits double digits tonight, he's got 10. Machenbacher with the ball for Verndale, passing to Steiner. Steiner to Perius. Perius looking for a pass. Back over to center at Steiner. Steiner to Ermentrout. Ermentrout goes, didn't quite get three, but he's got two. 68 34. Eagle Valley with the lead over Verndale. Series of bounce passes. Ryan Killo has the ball. Goes up for two. Off the backboard, Ryan Killo. Just over four minutes to play in the game. Steiner with the ball. Passing over to Ermentrout. Ermentrout back to Machenbacher. Back to Ermentrout. Ermentrout tries for three. Goes over the back of the backboard. Nine players for the Rebels tonight in the scoring book. Let's see if we That's got a couple a more good guys. Team on. effort. A couple more opportunities here. I think you might see uh, the Rebels hit double digits with players in the scoring column. So we'll see how that goes. Killo with the ball, dribbles up, passing over to Tyler Oftedal. Oftedal over to Olsen. Olsen, oh, no good. Herman Trout now dribbles down court, goes up for the layup. Oh. No good. Rebounded by Steiner. 
I think he's going to get fouled by number 14, Ryan Killo. 34. No, I'm, James Olson. I apologize. James Olson, number 34, with the foul, and that's his first personal. I think you could have given half a personal on that one, too. I think right. they got him from the front and the back. <laughs> <laughs> and Steiner drops one. It's Jared's third point on the evening. One more free throw coming. Dylan Pratt in now for James Olson for the Rebels. Three minutes to go. And no good. Tyler Oftedal with the rebound. Over to Killo, back to Oftedal. Dylan Pratt now out to Killo at the center court. Tyler Oftedal trying to make a pass to add or to David Oliver. Couldn't quite get it there. And Machenbacher goes up for a layup for two. 70-37, 2.25 left in the game. We are on a running clock right now. Kilo goes up, no good. Rebounded by Offadal. Adam Hess inbounding for the Rebels to David Oliver. Oliver... Ball got away from him. Herman Trout now with the ball and over to Machenbacher to Steiner, Pirius, and back over to Herman Trout again. Machenbacher with the ball, left side. Knocked out of bounds by Adam Hess. Verndale's getting a lot of good perimeter movement, but they get their players are so far out on the perimeter that they're not any place where they can shoot the ball from when they do swing it. We'll look for them to maybe step in a little bit and have a better opportunity to. Let her fly. In the game for the Rebels, number 34, James Olsen in for Tyler Oftedal. Bursick with the ball, looking to pass. Over to Pirius. Pirius out to Ermintrout. Back over to Machenbacher. Machenbacher dribbles over to Bursick. Bursick goes up, no good. Tries again, no good. And that's going to be a foul on Eagle Valley. And that is Adam Hess and his second personal foul. And his first shot, no good. Olsen with the rebound. Over to Oliver, not a kilo. 25 seconds left in the game. Olsen now. Back to Kilo, back to David Oliver. Passing the ball, cross court. Pirius had the ball with a steal. And it goes out of bounds. And that's going to probably be the game. Maschenbacher will bring it in, two seconds. And Steiner goes up, and no good. Final score, 70-37. We'll get you figured out on uh, all the statistics here in just a second. I want to tell you first, though, that the next webcast uh, right here on the Eagle Valley website will be January 19th. Boys basketball against St. John. So those of you tuning in on our website, be sure to tune in for that. And let's kind of go through the uh, the statistics uh as best we can here. As far as, Mark. as far as the point totals here will go for, uh, we'll put Verndale up here in the second half. Um, they're going to be uh, led in scoring by uh, senior Caleb Bursick. Had a real strong night tonight. 18 points. I'm sure he's going to be a little disappointed, though. He had a lot of opportunities in the free throw line. It was only to cash in uh, two out of nine times at the, at the free throw line. Jordan Steiner, uh, their juniors, had three. Um, Kyle Booth, a junior, he had four. Dustin Maschenbacher chipped in with six. Dallas Trout had two. And rounding out their scoring, Isaac Schmitz had three for a total of 37. On Eagle Valley side, the Rebels were actually paced tonight by Jason Nelson, who had 13 first-half points. Jason didn't, didn't tally in the scoring in the second half, so he's going to lead all scorers with 13. Blake Paloma and Dario Cervantes are going to be 
Second leading scorers tonight, 12 points for Dario Cervantes and also 12 points for Blake Palma. Then we go down the road to uh, sophomore Tyler Offendahl, who contributed 10. Senior Zach Taylor put in 8. And um, Ryan Killo added 2, and Adam Hess added 2. So 9 Rebels in the scoring tonight. Um, they total 70 points. I think a real solid, satisfying win for Coach Wold and the boys, and uh, one to just move one more step uh, down the road. So uh, pretty good pretty good evening. You know, Verndale did a much better job in the second half of taking care of the basketball after 19 first-half turnovers, but uh, you know the Rebels didn't really put the pressure on them in the second half like they did in the first half. A real good team effort, though, all around uh, for the Rebels tonight. Very, very nice, very nice effort. All right. Once, thank you, Mark. Hey, it was a pleasure working with you. All right. Uh, once again, final score, 70-37 Eagle Valley over Ferndale. That's all from here in Clarissa. Thanks for watching tonight.